Knock, knock. Stay away from the cupcakes. Loki put laxatives in them. Knock, knock. Ah, life is pain! For my coffee. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. 26, 27, 28, 29. Are you kidding me? So, Kayla, how was your day? Who's there? Do it now? You waited so long that they like <laughs> went to do something like I don't know, like go to a restaurant or something. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, that was rude. What? Hi everyone. Sorry for my appearance. It's really cold in the house today and I just need to get this done so I can post the video. I usually don't post every two weeks, so please do not get used to this, but there's a lot of projects that are coming up that's going to take me a couple months to finish. So I really don't know if I'm going to be able to post frequently. Um, I'm going to try and break them up into bits because they are actually two corresponding projects but there's a lot of parts to them so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to edit them while I'm making it but we'll just have to see so please bear with me uh, but definitely a big project coming up uh, I hope you don't mind multiple parts but today I decided to make myself some coasters I've been meaning to get some coasters for a while now. Been looking around in different stores for ones I like. Really haven't been too excited about anything that I've seen. So I figured, hey, why not make a video and make some coasters? So I decided to make some out of just the cheap felt that you find in craft stores. And I did embroidery with my sewing machine. But I do not have an embroidery machine. I used to, but I never really used it enough to fix it when it broke. So this is all with just a regular sewing machine. So anyone can do this. It takes a little practice trying to get the feel of how to turn the needle. Uh, you don't want to force the needle when it's going through the machine because you don't want to bend the needle and end up either breaking the needle or even worse, breaking the plate which is like kind of like the flooring of where you're sewing, uh, really don't want to break that. So if you do decide to make your own, please be careful. Don't force it. Kind of let the sewing machine do its job, but kind of slowly, as it's moving, slowly turn the item and uh, you can pretty much do anything with a regular sewing machine. It's, it's amazing what you can do. I was inspired by this project by a man named Steve Oxford. I hope that's pronounced right. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of links below. He's done a lot of work with uh, fungus. He kind of just started off as doing it for fun. And it all started with a deep purple mushroom. Uh, I'm... There's going to be a link below on a video that he did that kind of describes how he got into the passion of the world of fungus. And it's, it's really kind of cool. Usually when you see projects that people make that are inspired by fungus, you have the iconic red cap mushroom with 
the little white spots on it. And uh, yes, it's uh, absolutely adorable. And I love the products that people do. However, it's a little limiting. And I don't think people realize how many varieties of mushrooms there are out there and how many colors. I mean, as I stated before, Steve first photographed a deep purple mushroom. Did you know that there were purple mushrooms? There's also ones that are icy blue, uh, neon yellow and orange, a highlighter green mushroom, and they come in all shapes and sizes, and they're really spectacular. So I figured that I would pay a little tribute to all of these wonderful, beautiful mushrooms that really don't get the attention they deserve. So I hope that you check out the links below and get an idea of how many varieties there are of our little mushroom friends. And I hope you too will be inspired by them and maybe make something yourself. And I'd certainly love to see anything that you make that's inspired off of these videos and beautiful, beautiful photographs. And with that, let's get started. To start this project, I found some dark gray felt at my local craft store. I used a very large cup to make a total of 10 circles. Five of the circles will have the mushrooms, and the other five will be the backings. This little mushroom, from what I can tell from the photo, has a very bumpy texture. I didn't want to spend too much time trying to get it perfectly accurate, so I just did little squiggles with the sewing machine. This one needed a little help in the background, so I ended up doing some stitches to kind of look like moss hanging. This was my first one, and looking back, I probably should have used green felt like I did with the ones coming up, but I was still in the experimental stage, so I just left it as it is. I find this particular mushroom pretty interesting. It kind of looks like it's wearing a little bubble dress made of lace. In the photo, the lace looks kind of like a honeycomb, but I wasn't too interested in accuracy, so I did little wavy lines again to kind of give the feel of the lace. There really wasn't a lot of planning on the embroidery part of it, and I pretty much made it up as I went along. But I did try my best to sort of do a little shading, and with the stitches, represent some of the textures of the mushrooms. For some of the mushrooms, the negative space around them kind of needed a little help. So I added some little blades of grass. Some of these mushrooms are actually tiny, so the blades of grass are completely out of scale, but I just felt it needed a little more color to balance out. And this was the easiest way to apply it. There are so many beautiful shapes and colors of mushrooms that I kind of had a hard time deciding which ones to do, but I limited myself to just five designs. 
I found colors of felt that matched the mushrooms as best as I could. Some of these coasters turned out better than others, and I do definitely have my favorites, but I'm pretty happy with all of them overall. For this one, I curved the lines of the stitches to give a little dimension on its roundness. For the stems of all the mushrooms, since in the photos they're very smooth, I just made up little wavy designs to stitch the felts together. After all the mushrooms were done, I attached the backings with the other circles of felt. To tie the five coasters together, I used a decorative little stitch and olive green. And with that, I was done. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Subscribe!